think I'm ready. I think I am ready. Ready to rumble. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back. I am bringing you guys a lovely tutorial today where we're going to go over my retouching process. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of these photos. A little bit about my workflow before we jump in. I use Affinity Photo on a iPad Pro and when you directly bring it into Affinity Photo, it gives you a camera raw kind of format here where we can adjust exposure and everything like that, make it look a little bit nicer than what it is just simply out of raw. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we're gonna hop into uh, the retouching side of things. So now that we've got that done, we're gonna go ahead and hit develop. now. Luckily, Maya's got beautiful skin, so we really don't have to retouch too much. First off, I always duplicate the layer, just because I don't want to mess with the original kind of file. I don't know, it's just what I do. Now what I do is I actually use the in-painting brush. It is this bad boy right over here, in-painting brush. It is magical, it does, it does wonders, it is the what I would say one of the best things about Affinity Photo. It's just amazing. It does amazing things. What I do is I jump in to the face <laughs> and we're gonna just try and take out like blemishes and that sort of thing. Just the small blemishes that are on her or on the table or anything that kind of distracts you. Let's go ahead and just fast forward through this though real quick. And boom, I mean, it's really, really rough, really, really quick. Uh, thank God she's got amazing skin to where we don't really have to do a whole lot. Now I have an action or macro that will automatically kind of set up what I need. All these are, are they are 50% gray fill layers that are on a soft light layer option. Now let me explain the difference between local and dodge and burn. Local is where we are just really simply maybe bringing up some shadows, maybe some bags under her eyes or anything like that. And then dodge and burn is going to be our actual dodge and burn. What's great about them being 50% gray layers and why I do this and why this makes sense to me anyways, is if we go to our local layer and we go to our paintbrush and we go to white, I'm gonna go ahead and just drastic this, right? So if we now draw over, you will see we are dodging. And then same thing if we switch to black, it is going to burn our photo, right? So you switch to white for dodge, you switch to black for burn, and you can do it on one layer, and that's why I like it. You could tell when we did that, it was a little harsh. Right now I'm at 100% opacity. Now I'm gonna bring this flow all the way down to one or 2%. A little bit goes a long way with this. Now this black and white layer is actually just a white layer under a color layer option to give it a black and white look. So the reason we edit in black and white is so we're not distracted by the color of our skin. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the paintbrush, make sure we're at 100% opacity, 1% flow, and we're gonna do white because we want to dodge. Now, I kind of want to raise up the shadows a little bit underneath her lip, just because I think it looks a little distracting. It's gonna look like you're not doing much, but we're gonna keep going over this until we think it looks good. Now, the idea behind this is that we don't wanna blow this out, right? We don't wanna completely get rid of the shadow or else it's just gonna look terrible. We wanna be careful, we really wanna play with how our photo already looks. Like with these shadows that are all over her face, if I were to brighten them all the way up, uh, it's not gonna look too great. You really wanna accent the photo and the highlights and the shadows that you already have. So real quick, we'll just do a little before and after. You can already see that we kind of got rid of that shadow. If we take off the black and white, you will see that we have taken this up a little bit. Since this photo is definitely playing hardcore with some shadow play, I really don't want to bring up too much more. I think I'm going to attack maybe this little spot here just to kind of blend it in with the light around it because we want to just make everything kind of smooth. We don't want to completely blow it out. We just want everything to kind of like, it's really nice and flowy, right? We just want a nice whoosh. So we're gonna bring that up just a little bit. I don't know if there's really much more that's like super distracting. Maybe some of these darker spots up here on her forehead. We're just going to ease those into the grays around it. It's a little before and after action. So nothing major, like I said, with this photo, we really don't need to do too much. So once you're done with the local, you can go ahead and move over to your dodge and burn layer, which is simply going to be your dodge and burn. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to black and white. Now, with this, we really just want to 
take what is already captured in this photo and we just want to pop it. So there's a little bit of the highlight on the nose that you can see, a little bit on the lip that will probably attack as well. Maybe brighten up the forehead. It really, all this is, is it's makeup. So if you struggle with dodging burn, um, you will just just look into makeup tutorials. I promise you will, you will become a master at dodging and burning if you just watch makeup tutorials. With dodging and burning, I do like to bring my flow up just a little bit more so it does a little bit more to my photo. And we're just going to simply raise up the light here on her forehead just a little bit. We're gonna get the nice highlight on the nose here. And we're definitely gonna pop this just a bit. And we're gonna try and pop the highlight here. And then always gotta get this right up here as well. Now don't be afraid if you're not doing too much because I'll show you what I like to do once I'm done. We're gonna add a little bit to the lip. Boom, boom, right here as well. Pop this. And then we're gonna add a little bit to the chin. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch to black. I'm gonna bring down the flow to 2% just because it it gets a little crazy there on the, uh, on the burning. And we're going to do eyebrows. Make those a little bit darker, make her a little bit more fierce. We're gonna go ahead and kind of make these shadows here on her hair kind of pop out just so she like kind of pops out towards us a little bit more. I'm also going to add this burn here so we can hopefully pop these lips a little bit more too. Now, a little bit on the cheek and we can see a little bit of a difference, right? Take it out of black and white real quick, before and after. So you can see we kind of made the eyebrows a little bit more fierce, like I said. A little bit of highlight on the nose and a little bit on that forehead as well. Now what I like to do is I like to then take my dodge and burn and duplicate it. Just to see what it looks like. Because why not? And if I don't love it, I'll come over here and drop my opacity down to where I kind of like it. And ah, I kind of like that, that's not too bad. Let's just take a look real quick, a quick little before and after action here on this retouch. Boom, boom. Let's get a little bit closer. And boom. Now what you can also do with the dodge and burn, well, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and action this again so I can get me some more 50% gray layers. We are going to change this and we're gonna call this eyes. And we're going to change this to whatever. We'll, we'll name it whatever, cause we'll just do, if, if we need it, we'll use it. So we're gonna hop into the eyes, go ahead and switch to black and white. And same thing, right? Uh, we're gonna make this a white, I'm gonna make this three and we're going to dodge and burn the eyes we want these to pop just a little bit too now like i said you want to play with what you have so i, I don't know if i really want to dodge too much in the shadows in this area i just want to bring out what is already here on this side of things we're going to go ahead and bring this up so just a little bit since it's all in shade don't want to overdo it we can see a nice little before and after. Always keep in mind, if you're like, oh my gosh, I way overdid this, drop your opacity. But I kind of like that. Before and after. Before and after. Also, what I like to do is definitely not just dodge. We do like to burn as well. We're gonna go ahead and outline the eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this shade a little bit darker. On this side, I'm going to do similar around the eye. And then I'm going to shade up here because that way it looks a little bit more natural. That way it's like not the top of her eyes, like super bright for no reason. And let's take a look. Before and after. Before and after. So you can kind of see, very simple. Like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, Maya's skin's just too beautiful for us to retouch. But I hope that this kind of leads you guys into trying this out, giving it a shot on your own with your own photos, and hopefully creating some major, awesome, epic photos. But that is actually how I professionally retouch all of my images on my iPad Pro. Some images, can get pretty crazy. Let me show you an example real quick. This photo I also did of Maya. I went a little crazy with the dodge and burn. You can see I've got all these layers. I'm so unorganized when it comes to this. Now I've got my dodge and burn here and you can see I have a local, I've 
I duplicated my dodge and burn. I also duplicated my eyes because I want them to pop just a little bit more. Uh, but let's take a look at this uh, before and after. Because that is the before and that is the after. So you can see uh, it does uh, quite a bit. It can really honestly transform somebody's face, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, boom! That's how you do it. That's that's the, the retouching. That's that's uh, you know professional retouching 101 right there. Easy peasy, right? No practice at all. You can just do it now since you watch this video. You are all pros, and I expect you to do amazing things. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Check out all of my links down below. I've got, you know, Instagram and Twitter and some of those fun things. So if you'd like, you could, you know, <laughs> check it out. See if this does well enough, I will hopefully make a video on how I then color correct my images to even further pop out my images. But yeah, that is simply step one out of like five of my entire process. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. And that's all that matters. Keep killing it. Peace. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Watch, something's gonna fuck up and I'm gonna be so mad. Are here. We, we are here, here. We are here. We, we are here, here. What's up guys, welcome back. We are... Mm. What if I did like a really like... What's up, guys? Welcome. <laughs> God dang it! Gosh dang it! <laughs> if you. <sighs> if you already. <laughs> If you haven't already checked out, gosh, dang it, I don't know what I want to say. When I bring it in directly into Affinity Photo, I almost had it. So you can see.